All right guys, we are back and this is going to be a 6L80 rebuild. And this is what I consider to be one of my rebuilds that is an equivalent to a GM Serta or a service replacement trans assembly, okay? So here we have our case prepped and cleaned in the holding fixture. If you'll get over here, David. This is the DT48989, my favorite holding fixture. Um, so we've gone ahead and freshened up the case. And if you'll get over here, David, we have our manual shift shaft seal installed we have this all cleaned up we have a new seal in there case is all cleaned up obviously all of our components are here on the bench we're doing all new um every new fiber clutch plate we are also going to be doing a new center support and the reason i like to do this is because the bushing in this center support likes to be destroyed and obviously you can put bushings in a transmission okay to rebuild it but this support itself the lugs where this spawns in the case actually like to wear out. And what that does is that causes the center support to rock slightly in the case. And that can cause the two six clutches that are right here to fail from hydraulic pressure. Whether you have a worn case or a worn center support, the solution is gonna to be to replace this. But you know, nine times out of 10, it's not gonna be the case. It would be the support. But I like to just do a whole new support. So we're doing a new support. And then on the topic of that, the one, two, three, four clutch hub out of this one is in really good shape. I actually took this from another core. I'll show you the one that came out of the core I was building if you'll hold on for a second. We have this one over here. When I was cleaning this up to do my inspection, I had never seen this before on a one, two, three, four clutch hub, these grooves that are in here. And it's weird because the two six that spines to this and the bearing that goes in here, this is in good shape. So I was wondering, I don't wanna hurt myself. Why would that have that brindling or those, or those grooves in there? I don't know, but this is not gonna go inside of this transmission. Okay, so obviously we're doing our new, we're doing our new center support. We're doing new pistons, dams, everything, and then as well as a new sprag, okay? So this is a new sprag. The heat treating that you see on there, that's actually normal. Um, this is not bad. This is a new sprag from GM. And a lot of times you can reuse the sprag in a 6L80 with 70,000 miles, 80,000, or a low mileage converter failure on a new truck. Realistically, this is not bad, aside from you having to clean the metal out of it. But with high miles, the sprag race inside of here can wear. And what will happen is during launch in drive mode, it can intermittently neutral out. And that's from the sprag race being worn on the outside of it. Um, like I said, this is supposed to be comparable to a Serta from GM that comes with a three year, 100,000 mile warranty. So I'm replacing this. This is as, as new as possible as we can get with a lot of these internal components. Or sprag. We have a new um, rotor package here. We have a new slide. We have a new rotor. We have new vanes. We have a new torque converter housing and fluid pump assembly, as well as a new pump cover kit, as well as a new one, two, three, four, three, five reverse drum or clutch assembly. And this obviously comes with new pistons, molded pistons, everything inside of it. And then this weld that's right here since it's a new drum, this is not going to crack and lead to a delay in reverse for probably 10 years or five to seven years. So that's well within our warranty period. And then these valve bodies, these are actually new valve bodies. So yeah, this is, this is pretty much what all I would use in a stock 6L80 or 6L90 rebuild. And another thing that I like to do, these are the speed sensors for a 6L80 and 6L90 or 6L50. This is 20 something dollars for this speed sensor harness. Um, I've actually seen these fail before in GM Certas because they reuse these. Part of why GM can make a Serta cost what it does, whether it's 3,600, 3,800 or $4,200 list price is because of the fact that they reuse components inside of these transmissions when they are remanufactured. I've had these where they have speed sensor codes during the test drive and the speed sensors are just bad. 
So we're going to try to avoid that and try to get this thing to go as far as possible. So obviously all new fibers, like I said, new torque converter housing, new slide, new pistons, new dams. Um, and even uh, so far as new turbine shaft Teflon ceiling rings, which these really don't go bad, but it's always a good idea to replace them if you're doing everything. All right. So this is going to be, this unit is going to take over the 4L60 as the most common transmission to be hitting the bench. So anyone who's out there who's rebuilding these, um, this is a very easy unit to do. Uh, it only has a little bit of issues. And if you address the main things like the torque converter, um, the drum, check balls, little things like that, it'll, it'll live a long time.